Hey, this is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to compare the Google Assistant on a smartphone to the Google Assistant that I made here on the Raspberry Pi. Now, why am I doing this? Well, actually, uh, when I started this project of making this Google Home, I noticed that the way it was presented was always Google Assistant on Raspberry Pi until the big tweet came out that said, hey, there's a kit to make a Google Home with a Raspberry Pi. Everybody was calling it Google Assistant on Raspberry Pi. And the tutorials that I followed to make this all said Google Assistant on Raspberry Pi. That led me to believe that I didn't really need to go through and take my Raspberry Pi and install Google Assistant on it because there's already a Google Assistant on my smartphone. Uh, so I was, I was kind of wondering, hey, did I waste my time? Or is this the same thing? Hey, if I can get the Google Assistant on my phone, I don't really need to go through all this and, and do it with a Raspberry Pi. So in this video, I'm gonna compare the Google Assistant on my smartphone with the Google Assistant on this Raspberry Pi. And uh, just for the purposes of this video, I've turned off the uh, wake word off my phone because the wake word works on my Raspberry Pi. So um, when I say the, the word, okay, Google, on here, it, this one will respond. And here, I'm just gonna press the button and then uh, say the same thing. And that's how we're gonna do the comparison. I'm going to do a screen record here. And that way, uh, you'll see everything I see on my screen. So let's start with something fun. In a previous video, we did Easter eggs on this device. So that was always a lot of fun. So I'm gonna say, okay, Google, what sound does the fox make? Ring, ding, 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 and my pop, 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 pop the bell. Or so I heard. Okay, that was pretty funny. So let's, let's try it on my little smartphone here. What sound does the fox make? According to popular science, it's simple to reduce, say, a dog's vocalizations to bark, but as any owner knows, dogs can yelp, whine, howl, growl, and make all kinds of other sounds. Uh, so essentially, it looked it up on uh, Google and gave me the results. So, hey, good answers, but not exactly the same thing. All right, let's get a little serious here for a second. Let's talk about uh, what people generally ask for other than Easter eggs on these things. Okay, Google, what's the weather forecast for today? In Atlanta today, there will be thunderstorms with a high of 91 degrees and a low of 71 degrees. It's currently 91 degrees and mostly cloudy. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Let's try this here. What's the weather forecast for today? Today's forecast for Atlanta is 91 degrees with scattered thunderstorms. So, basically the same thing. All right. Um, here's, let's do another fun one. Okay, Google, make me a sandwich. I must warn you, it's not a reversible spell, but I'll try. You're a sandwich. All right, let's try this one. Make me a sandwich. What? Make it yourself. <laughs> All right, so there is a little Easter egg here. She told me to make it myself, and then she gave me some memes about it. All right, wasn't expecting that. That was hilarious. Uh, let's try having it remember things for me. Okay, Google, remember that my bicycle combination is one, two, three, four. It's not really. Okay, I'll remember that you said my bicycle combination is one, two, three, four. Okay, Google, what did I ask you to remember for me? Here's what you asked me to remember recently. July 15th, 2017. Remember that my bicycle combination is one, two, three, four. Okay, we can do that. So let's try this on the smartphone. Remember that my combination lock is one, two, three, four. And it gives me a Google search on combination locks. So, all right, very good. Uh, so not, not quite the exact same experience. Another thing we like to ask our Google assistants is for math questions. Okay, Google, what is three plus four? The answer is seven. All right, and right here, what is three plus four? The answer is seven. So we get exactly the same response for that. That's, that's perfect, you're in the supermarket, you wanna do a little quick calculation. Uh, on shopping, it's 
Perfect. Okay, Google, I'm looking for a 100 watt light bulb. On the website walmart.com, they say GE 41,028 soft white light incandescent bulb E26 base 60 watt total 8 bulb S. Product incandescent bulbs 100 watts 4 pack. $32. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. All right, let's try this on my phone. I am looking for a 100 watt light bulb. And it pulls up uh, 100 watt light bulbs. The first, the first answer result is Walmart. So, uh, so this is consistent, except she talked this time, and then she, and then my phone didn't talk this time. Another thing I enjoy with my with my uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, Google Home or Google Assistant, is to say stuff like, "Okay, Google, entertain me." So glad you brought that up. We can play Mad Libs. I can tell you a joke, or you can spin the wheel. What sounds good to you? Spin the wheel. Good choice. The wheel recommends asking me for the crystal ball. Okay, let's try here. Okay, Google, entertain me. Sometimes I like to auto-tune myself. And uh, it's, it heard me, so this one talked, but uh, this one did too. It, it, it just uh, pulled up uh, the Google search results for uh, entertain me. So anyway, uh, so there are games and, and other entertainment factors here on this Raspberry Pi versus on your phone. I, I guess they look at your phone as more of a work device or you know, finding information in that moment. Uh, so generally speaking, what I've found is that um, the Raspberry Pi Google Assistant had more Easter eggs, had more entertainment. It was a different experience for the most part from the smartphone. So I think it's really interesting that Google would call it a Google Assistant, but have uh, but really fine tune it uh, to the effect of having two different experiences depending on your device. So I think that's, that's really interesting. I think there are going to be a lot of changes coming up. So I think this video is going to be obsolete very quickly and they are going to get more similar and more different in, in new and exciting ways. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye. Okay, Google, what's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so let's try it on the phone now. What's cooler than being ice cold? And it, and it looks up the Outcast lyrics for me. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.